Hi, I'm Mike McConville, Director of New Category Development with Horizon Hobby. And in this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate the compass system in the Sportsman S Plus, which is a step that's very important to do before the first flight. Um, this is also something that you want to do uh, if you go to a new flying site for best performance out of the Safe Plus system, it's good to do it. Or if at any time the system acts as if it's not working properly, if you execute auto land and the heading is off by a lot, the compass might need recalibration. Um, it's not something you have to do all the time. In fact, honestly, with a lot of the flying I've done, I rarely do it. The most important thing is before the very first flight on the airplane, you need to do this. To calibrate the compass in the Sportsman S Plus, um, we have to power it up and hold the sticks in a certain position to put it in the calibration mode. And it's actually very simple. So first thing we'll do is turn on the transmitter. That's best practice is to always turn on the transmitter before powering up the airplane. So transmitter's turned on. And now we'll plug in the, the flight battery. We don't even have to put the hatch back on because we're not going to fly it. In fact, after calibration, you have to unplug the battery and then plug back in um, to be ready to fly. So the battery is plugged in. I'll turn the airplane over. Once the airplane's upright, it'll start to seek uh, uh, satellite lock. So while it's doing that, I've got a little bit of time. The important thing here is to hold these sticks in the inside corner like that. It's full up elevator, full left aileron, low throttle and full right rudder, the inside corners. And we just hold it until the system gets GPS lock and then it will go into compass calibration because we're holding the sticks in this position. Okay, now we know it's in compass calibration mode because when that mode is, is active, the ailerons move back and forth like this. This simply tells us that it's in compass calibration mode and it's ready to be done. So we leave the transmitter turned on and we just set it down. The sticks no longer have to be held in that position. And then we pick up the airplane. Now the airplane has to be rotated one time in each of 10 different orientations. Um, so we start level like this and we rotate it once. Then we pull the nose up 45 degrees and we rotate it once again about this axis then up 45 degrees again and rotate it, then 45 degrees back and rotate it, then 45 degrees again. Each one is a 45 degree change. Again, nose down 45 degrees, then straight down, then back up, we're almost done. Now we've gone around that axis. Now we go this way, rotate it once. Then we go this way and we rotate it once. Now we set the airplane back down. Now we take the transmitter and we power off. Now when we power off, the system is flashing that new calibration to its memory. So it has to sit for three to five seconds. Once that's, that much time has passed, now we can turn it back upside down and just unplug the battery. Now this can also be done without the wing on the airplane, which it does make it easier to rotate because the wing's not in your way. But if you take the wing off, you do lose the indication of the ailerons moving to tell you it's in calibration mode. So it's not as clear you're actually in that mode as it is with the wing on. That's why I like to do it with the wing on so that I know for sure I'm in calibration mode. But either way works just fine. For more videos like this, go to HobbyZoneRC.com.